Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. What are we doing? It is time for Drawfee. Yeah. Mortal Kombat. We're drawing Mortal Kombat. It is the time to do some Drawfee now. It is time to do some Drawfee now. Okay. That's a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we do our names like they do in the song? Oh yeah, I Nathan, don't know the song. Jacob, Julia, Julia. Shao Kahn. Oh God, <laughs> he's here. Oh no, <laughs> we're doing Drawfee. I mean, we're doing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we are doing Drawfee. Uh, people wanted us to do something related to Mortal Kombat because Mortal Kombat 11's out. Yeah, and it rules by all accounts. I mean, it looks. I like all the Mortal Kombat's that I've played. And this one seems to be no exception. Yeah. My only problem with it, Nathan, mm. is Tell that me. I want more fatalities. Not enough. Not enough. There's not enough. They I haven't think... done enough different there ones. There needs to be more ways to kill there... your foes. In the in the end. Just for just for style just points. Just for style points. Like you've already won the fight, but you really want to just just dunk on them yeah. a little bit. And I think we're the ones who should come up with it? Which they've done a dunk one, right? Where they like take the skull and dunk it. I'm sure. I'm absolutely Here, sure. They've here's done a dunk my one. problem: is I've only played some of the Mortal Kombat's, and I was never good at doing the fatalities. So I don't know. I just assume everything's already been been done. Right. Here's a thing we do a lot on Drawfee: is sort of muse on a topic, mm-hmm. and then. Everybody in the comments is like, you idiots. That's already a thing. That's already a thing, you stupid morons. Why do we watch this channel? We're unsubscribing. <laughs> That's what they do That's every a time. Typical Drawfee That's comment. a typical Drawfee comment. The Drawfee commenters are so mean. Really just toxic. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not what I was saying and you know this. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just goofing around. Nathan, I'm just in a fun goofy this mood. This is a today. silly one. This is a very goofy this, movie. This is a little silly goofy. So this looks like sort of doing the the classic head snap a uh, little it, bit. It does look like that, but I'm I'm going to be ble- leading to something different. Okay. So I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm This is this is a tricky one cuz we've got to draw at least two people each of us does. Yeah. And that's hard. And that's hard. That's and harder than drawing one person. Yeah. That's for sure. More than one person? Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. But that's I think the fatality for us. It will it will literally kill us to draw two Yeah. two people. I think it's a good strategy already, though, uh, that you seem to be using the sort of original game costuming. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm doing all ninjas. Where, where it's just it's just different <laughs> colored ninjas. Yeah. Which I think I will also be doing for my drawing. It it makes it a lot easier to draw them if they're all just ninjas. If they're all just the ninjas, and then Julia can decide which ones they are by what color their headband and, yeah. and robe is. You know, I think I'm realizing that I've only played one Mortal Kombat, and it was in a, a bar once uh-huh. when I was a child. I went you went to, to a lot of bars when you were <laughs> No, I went like once. Who took you to a child bar? My... Were there other children there? No. It was just you? Yeah, so I had to entertain myself, so I went to a little, the little arcade game in the corner and it was Mortal Kombat. For in case you bring your child to the bar. Yeah, or in case you, you get very drunk. Did you play against some drunks? I don't remember. I just remember uh, my dad's friend had a birthday party and it was at a bar and we couldn't get a babysitter for me, so I went. To this bar, did not have a good time. Go mm-hmm. figure. Oh yeah, go you, figure you as were a child. A child. Uh, did not have fun at a bar, so I went to go find video games, and thus I did. I played a lot of Mortal Kombat two and three on the the consoles, the home consoles. Which console? The Sega Genesis. Nice. And then I wow. got Mortal Kombat three, the, the 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 big one, the good one for for the Nintendo sixty four. The the big good they one? They had a big good one for a Nintendo 64 that was like a little nicer. Oh. It was kind of like a collection, I think, of all of them. I played okay. Mortal Kombat Deception for the Nintendo GameCube. Shut up, Nathan. <laughs> you played Mortal Kombat Deception? For the Nintendo GameCube. Was that a bad one? Probably. I don't know. Deadly Alliance was like the one that everybody was talking about, but then they came out with Deception. Deception. And it was on all... Cause 
that was already when Xbox and PlayStation were like, we're going to have all the same games. And Nintendo was like, we, we might. We won't. We'll we, have a different version. We probably won't. Yeah. But they had Mortal Kombat Deception, and I played through the story mode. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. That was kind of one of the weird periods in Mortal Kombat's history. Like, at this point now, they've gone back to, like, they're like, let's get back to basics. Yeah. Let's make this a wild style story of crazy folk uh, beating the the stew out of each other. There's no stew left to be had no. at the end of those games. So this looks like a happy, happy friend. Yeah, this right now, right now this is a happy friend. Okay, so he's, is is he eating like a burger? Yeah, he's eating a burger. He's on the couch eating a burger. I was thinking about like maybe some. He's in like a comfy chair. The thing about the fatalities is, uh huh, they all like kind of have to be done right then and there. Yeah, you know, like you finish the fight and then you like rip out your you're opponent's sort of, head. You're, you're sort of like one of them, sort of wobbling. The fight yeah. is over. The fight is over, but you do a dazed wobble as you await uh, whatever fate sort of uh, is going to be coming for you. Whatever fate is ality. Whatever fate is ality. <laughs> And, um, but I'm thinking, like, what about a more nefarious fatality? Oh. Like, what if you win the fight and your opponent's dazed and you're like, great fight, buddy. Let's, you know, actually be friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then you form, like, a long-lasting friendship where you sort of subtly encourage negative behaviors. Oh. Um, oh. In, your, in your friends. So maybe they're, like, eating really unhealthy a lot and you're just like, sure looks delicious. Keep it up. Oh, poor and life then, choices. And then you get them later with the silent killer heart disease. So wow. you, you're just just sort of being a friend who encourages burger eat. You're a friend. <laughs> you're a friend. <laughs> a burgerality. You're a friend who you will. notices, you know, that your your friend is like maybe doing some things that aren't the best for them. And you're and, and you're, you're encouraging enabling it. it. You're yeah. enabling it and being like, oh yeah, man, you know, screw all that health talk. Let's. You only live once, you know, YOLO. Munch, munch that berg. Munch that berg all you want. What's treat the worst yourself. that could happen? Treat yourself constantly. Constantly. It becomes less of a treat and more just a, a constant bad habit. Yeah, more just what you're doing. So right now he's enjoying the burger and can this I, guy's coming in and he's just being like, good work. Can I tell you my favorite thing about the drawing you've made? Yes. Is how happy this ninja looks to be putting this burger up to his uh, completely <laughs> covered mask. His masked face. <laughs> he's just he's just sniffing it. That's why there's no chomps <laughs> taken out of this burger because he can't. He's, he's just, this is, this is part of the burger eating ritual. First, yeah. a, a, just a big inhale. Well, you can capture some of the scent on the mask, yeah, and then like later on, you'll still be smelling. And it. then he's gonna he's gonna lower the mask down, and this guy's coming in, and maybe he's even got like, like a bag of more burgers. A bag of more burgers. Yeah, he's bringing in more. He's like, "Good work, buddy. He, you know what? You've earned a burger. You, <laughs> for eating that burger so well, you deserve another. You burger. You deserve another burger. Maybe there's like some cigarettes in here too. Oh, okay. Like a box of cigarettes. So wow, really, yeah. really doing it all. He's like, well, all that burger really, you know, kind of stressful sometimes. Let's go have a smoke. <laughs> and, um, Getting stressed out by eating burgers. <laughs> go, go have a smoke. Go have a smoke to calm down. He's mm -mm. like, have a smoke. And here I bought a, I brought a handle of, of the, the, the booze. The booze. This Not burger life is too stressful for me. Yeah. Got to wash it down <laughs> with some booze. But I also brought more burgers. That, that burger life, just constantly listening to Cheeseburger in Paradise by Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. Yeah. Just oh, he's, really. He's got that CD in here. I mean, you know. To put in the player. People And at like this, this is a point, good thing to do if you want to have like a party and it's like a once in a while. Like, you know, let's just like go to town on some burgers. Listen right. To some burger Jimmy party. Buffett. Everybody. Everybody burger parties from time to time. For sure, but if you're burger partying every day, that's going to catch up with you eventually, and that's right. that's what our ninja over here is counting on. So this is this is a little bit of an educational fatality. This is for yeah. this is one for the kids who maybe don't realize because they're young and their bodies are invincible. Are invincible that like hey, you got to develop those good habits now because yeah. they're, they're hard to break, but then your body starts to break. And, and when get you mad at you, yeah, when you initiate this one in game, it plays out a twenty-five minute cutscene of sort of this whole <laughs> process going on, like with multiple time jumps, uh -huh. um, ultimately culminating in him, you know, being at the doctor and the doctor saying, like, "If you don't change your habits, you know, you're not going to live to see the next year." Mm -hmm. And then his friend being like, "What do doctors know?" You know, and then cut to the funeral, 
everyone's very sad. And then this ninja over here in the back of the funeral looks to the camera and winks. And then fatality comes up. And then fatality comes up on the screen. screen. Perfect video game. Yeah, perfect video game. Yeah, Mortal Kombat, where has this been? Where has this been? (laughs) You're you're lucky we're here pitching you- I haven't been learning enough. (laughs) These solid gold ideas. I can't think of a single reason why you would not include this idea exactly as I have described it here (laughs) in your next game, Mortal Kombat 12. Um, does someone else want to do yeah, one? Yeah, I'll do one. Okay, hop in. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get like rough the, in a ninja. Yeah, get a ninja. Get, in to, here. get a ninja going. I used to draw these ninjas so much when I was in like elementary school. You give you give them you give them an inch, they'll walk all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these legs making any sense. Maybe, maybe even a little bit. There are a lot of fatalities. Like you know, I was trying to think what'd be a funny one to do. But like, I feel like Bo Raicho already has all like the the farts. Oh, he's that big guy. He's that big drunk guy. The big drunk guy and who's he, in like he, the N64 one. He already does all the farts, so I don't think, I think all the farts are, have been done. Yeah, so he does like, farts and like putting his butt on you can't, until you die. I don't want to do any like rude ones. Yeah, no rude, crude there's, fatalities. There's not gonna be any rude, crude fatalities here. So here's here's the ninja performing the fatality. But they, they also did like, the babalities, right? Yeah, where you turn your opponent into where you a baby. you turn your opponent into a baby. And ostensibly, like, they're not dead at the end of that process. No, they just they've are just, a baby. They've just become a baby. So I'm thinking maybe something along those lines because, you, like, I, I leave it to, I trust Mortal Kombat has come up with every conceivable way to end a, a human life. Except for heart disease, the silent killer. Except for heart disease, the silent killer, and whatever Julie draws. But, um... <laughs> But I'm 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 coming up with like a, a new ality. Okay, a totally new ality. Yeah. So fatality is not enough for you anymore. It was never it enough. It was never enough. It for was you. never enough for me. Cause like, yeah, you turn someone into a baby, that's that's pretty good. They can't really fight you. Yeah. What I liked about the babies is they still kind of had adult human heads <laughs> that looked yeah. like the person you made into a baby. Do you remember friendships? What? No. Was, in, in, was friendships? Uh, it was a it was a type of uh, fatality, but it didn't kill them. Instead, you just did a, a very kind gesture, a friendly gesture. Oh, like you pull out like a teddy bear, and then the other person would fall over. And that's and that would just be a friendship. Yeah, and it said friendship. That's at the end. That's pretty good. Yeah, this one also has to do with with sort of time magic. Yeah, which and apparently aging. every character has. Well, secretly. if you hit someone hard enough, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You knock them into the past or future. Oh, who is this? Is this like one of the the lady ninjas? This is a ninja. Oh, is this a teen ninja? This is a teen ninja. You send them back to their teenage years? This is a teenality. Oh, Oh, no. no. And I, you know, maybe this is something they already thought of. They're very clever. And if it is, just let me have this. (laughs) (laughs) Don't, don't, if it is, if any of us have said something that already exists, just don't tell us. And we can live the rest of our lives thinking we did good. But like, and and also like teens now are good. We know this. Teens are better than when I was a teen. I think, like, there's a constant upward trajectory on teens. So this, they're being sent back to being my generation teens. Sure. Mm. Yeah. I did not like being an our no, generation teen. No, I no. didn't. I didn't care for it. No. Um, and so this is sort of the. He's just sort of like, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm a monster. No, stop. I don't want to fight. This is lame. This is lame. You're embarrassing me. Oh, everyone's watching. Oh. He's just like crying a little bit. So he doesn't want to fight because he doesn't want so to. He, he does. He's just super embarrassed. He to just be wants there. to go back to his room and and listen to his 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 band. His ninja bands. His Because he bands. is. A, this is a ninja, but yeah, he's still wearing his like ninja clothes, but. I had to indicate that it was a teen. Yeah. So maybe he's got, he's still got the headband. Yeah. Face masks are dumb. I'm not wearing it. I'm not going to be like you, dad. Can he be dressed like a Naruto teen? Oh. oh those like were popular when hidden, I was a teen. Hidden leaf uh, headband. Yeah, it's, you can see it's here. So it's many teens yeah. with that hidden leaf headband when I was a teen. I want to be like Sasuke. I want to be like Sasuke. He's cool. More Sasuke, less Sub-Zero. Yeah, he's just like, don't stop it. These oh, moves are lame. They're embarrassing me. 
Man, I hate this. to have to go back and be a teen again. I can't imagine. I cannot. I can't imagine. There's that movie Little. She's not a teen in that, but. Is that the one with Vanessa Hudgens? Is she in that one? No, the, it's um, uh, it's the lady from Insecure. She's funny. The The trailer for that movie was getting big laughs in the theater when I went to see Captain Marvel. You'd think it'd be getting little laughs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Regina Hall. It's Regina Hall. And Issa Rae. Issa Rae. She's the one, yeah. I believe, from Insecure. And Marci Martin is the 13-year-old version. Maybe, yes, uh, the, the UFO pants. Maybe the UFO oh, pants. Oh, yeah. sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Ni- ninja, ninja up part, and then the UFO. Just big baggy. The big baggies. I got a case of the big baggies. I got a case of the big baggies. This I is definitely had a case of those. This is definitely teen. just sort of a commentary on what I remember <laughs> being a teen was like. I like. I felt like this, but I didn't have the confidence to like actually wear the goth. No, I didn't either. Stuff, but I was like, I get it. I was scared of doing literally anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I had zero. I had, anything. I had no confidence in in building any sort of identity for myself. I just wanted to. I just wanted to be accepted, and of course, that's the lamest thing you yeah. can you can do and be. Yes. So anyway, yeah. teenality. Uh, teenality. And you, he's gonna be small because. This, he's a, he, he's a little he hasn't hit he hasn't hit his growth spurt yet. Yeah. So he's a little he's just a little he's just like I hate this. Do oh, I have to just keep being a teen now. Do I have to just grow up again? This blows. So there you go. Teenality. Teenality. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, so I haven't played a super a lot of Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. I think the last time I played, I remember when you could fatality someone and they kind of just stood like this and their head was slumped over. Yes. Is that right? Am I remembering this correctly? Well, they kind of like, like they, they, do, they, like they this, do a, they like, do a uh, wobble. Yeah, uh, that, that's all part, around. That's definitely one of the frames in that animation yeah, for sure. that you've drawn. I really, right. I really like this posture, just like, oh, I'm gonna get fatality, aren't I? <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, I don't, I really don't wanna. It sucks every time. It just, it doesn't. It's not great. Could I win a fight maybe once in a while? <laughs> maybe I could do the fatality. Okay, got to got to get that ninja garb in there. I definitely played the one time I played I played as the ice dude. Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. Yes. You think I would remember that considering the clue is in the name? Yeah. Sub-Zero. Super did not. I also said his name earlier in this very episode. You know I don't. Roll listen. back the tapes. <laughs> Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the two the two main ninjas are ice and scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> ice and skeleton head. Ice and skeleton head. I guess it is kind of on fire, but he doesn't have very many fire based attacks. No, he can breathe the fire out of his skeleton head. He can head. breathe the fire out of the skeleton head and he can sort of teleport with fire. Yeah. But it doesn't hurt anyone. What do ninja feet wear? Just little, shoes. It doesn't matter. Little shin guards. Yeah, they had little shin guards. Right. Like He's just got do. little flats on. He's got little flats. Sensible flats. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't really sure what direction the fight would be going, so he wore sensible shoes. Yeah, just in case. Didn't yeah. put on his heels. Yeah. Okay. That's so what you, a ninja looks like, right? You said yeah. you you played you you played a Sub Zero. That was your your character. Yeah. You, you like to do the freezes, the freezes. When I played Mortal Kombat too, I always played as Shang Tsung because his was the only fatality I could do. Oh, nice. The one where he jumps inside the opponent's ear. Ooh. And then he just like grows big inside of them and they explode and he's just standing there. Oh, he does what everybody wants Ant-Man to do with Thanos' butt. Yes, he he does that. <laughs> but with Shang Tsung the... <laughs> was the first one to do that, but he didn't go in the butt. Good, good. You don't have to go you in the You don't have to be rude. Yeah. You don't have to go into rude parts. Yeah. You can just go through the ear and it still works. Yeah, it, it all still works the same way. Maybe even better, because then you're inside his head. I like to play as Melina, the the lady. She's the one, the, the blue la- one? The lady Baraka. Is she the, oh, she's not the blue. I right? was thinking of. Uh, That's Melina, right? I think she's, so. She's pink. She's, she's got the pink like, one? she's like got a, a pinkish, I think. Oh, God. Oh, no. Why <laughs> did I say it? 
Why did I say this? I thought Melina and Katana were the, the two lady ninjas, but one of them does have big, scary Baraka teeth. Yeah, I think that's Melina. But I for, always forget which one of them is which. You yeah, could she's, like right. a, she's like a purpley pink. Okay. She's like a purpley pink. She has the sigh. She's got the, the face veil, but then she takes it off and does big bites. But yeah. I liked oh. her because she had a teleport move, and I would just rotate between doing that attack and grab. Mm-hmm. And you could win matches that just doing those two so attacks just, over and you over. You just wanted to cheese. I like the cheese. Yeah, I like I like doing the. If you've ever played me in a game, you know I enjoy cheese. Yeah, ex, extra cheese for this boy. Once you figured out my cheese, I I get frustrated and leave. Yeah, he leaves <laughs> to find a dif- different cheese. I need to I need to find my cheese. Find new cheese to bring back to the table. More cheese, please. I don't if I've seen you cheat. Well, I haven't really played too much Smash Brothers with you. I mean, I play a snake. Yeah, I mean, but usually (laughs) when you play a snake, you're just in the corner shooting rockets and having fun. Mm -hmm. That's the cheese. That's the cheese. Oh, okay. That's that snaky cheese. Yeah. Okay. And then I usually uh, gun for you immediately because you just stand in a corner. Yeah. Only one person is allowed to stand in a corner and it's me when I'm Bayonetta. Because you're posing. And you're just crouching. Yeah. That's what I do. That's, That's my strat. Oh man, now I want to play Smash Bros with you so guys. So do I, but I don't have my Switch. <laughs> yeah, we should bring him in and play again. Let's do it again. I want to play as Joker. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Joker's out now. Joker. You guys get the get the game pass, the fighter I, pass. I got the fighter pass. I got the fighter pass. I didn't. Well, you're not going to have Joker then. Oh my god. Bayonetta's son. Bayonetta's beautiful son. Bayonetta's beautiful son. Okay. 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 So okay. we, we've set the scene. Yeah. We've set the scene. We've got our, our two ninjas here. This one looks kind of tired. Yeah, we're yeah. like freaked out a little He's bit. He's just like, are you, are you okay? Oh no, did I, did I hit you too hard? What did I do? Wait, wait. Okay. You're we, really building to something here and I don't know what it's I mean, gonna I'll be. I mean, I'll keep talking <laughs> about Smash Bros and my, and my bad strategies for winning fighting games because I don't like memorizing combos, but I oh, do. I don't like memorizing combos either. But I do like figuring out one annoying thing I can do over and over again that. <laughs> that this, is, this is gonna be the most hate you've ever gotten in the comments of a video. I mean, the people deserve to know. They deserve to know what I'm like. This is, this is the real Nathan. This is the real me. The real Nathan starts here. I mean, you can sort of tell that in my art style too. I have like three poses that I put my characters in. Listen, we all got like three yeah, poses. Yeah, we all got our go-tos, Nathan. Doing this show, we don't have time to figure out a brand new poses every time. A brand new poses. <laughs> we don't have time. We don't have time like for this, brand new poses. I like this crowd of people with one person with the face. Yeah, one person <laughs> hey! must be like heckling or something. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, that guy's eating a snack. It there you go. Like... That guy's eating. He's real tiny. He's really crunched up in here. That's it's one of those porfo. Is one of those the toasty guy? <laughs> toasty. <laughs> there you go. There's a little porfo. This one's just like, whoa. Oh. Wow. So much fighting. <laughs> Let me write this out. Your because fave I will... is problematic. Your fave is problematic. Uh-oh. <laughs> here's the real fatality that I feel all the time not all the time you know do you feel like your moves suck my moves suck <laughs> no you know just you you can get you can get a thousand nice compliments but you get one negative you comment you get one negative comment oh. that's the one that does it oh. you fixate on it that's the one that does it wait you so know? Is, is the guy who won the fight gonna lose he's the one that's gonna get the fatality a years. reverse. A reverse. So this guy over here, let me put a little arrow in there. Yep. He's the one that's going to win because he's got one bad commenter backing him up, you know? Wow. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's all, all it, takes. it takes. That's all it takes is one bad We're one comment. sour Stanley we're in the crowd. We're incredibly fragile. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't know, you know, where that commenter's been. Maybe they're just venting. Maybe they're redirecting, you know, some some anger that's unduly being put on you. If someone leaves a negative comment, know that you are not they're not doing super hot yeah. generally. Yeah. Because I can't even imagine a world in which I would leave a negative comment on something. Yeah. And so to imagine a world in which that would be true is is not Thing, a happy world. Things have not gone well for me. Yes. Yeah. In in such a scenario. Yes. Yeah. 
you know, that person could be in a bad headspace, but you know, to us, we see that bad comment and immediately straight to the heart. Right. Yeah. Straight it's to like, the heart. Because like if all heart. if all these these good comments are true, then clearly this bad one must also be true. Well, no, the good ones are people being nice. Yeah. I see. And the bad one is true. Is the person who's who's willing to bravely tell to the tell, truth. Yeah, to tell you the hard truths. All these other people are lying to me. Yes, to make me feel better. Well, this was a very revealing episode about all of us. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob's biggest fear is the slow death of of heart disease. Heart disease, the silent killer. Mine is remembering, <laughs> remembering being a teen. And Julia, Julia, really, she wins the most relatable. Yeah, you know? for hers because. Once again, Julia's the big mood. Yeah. Big mood, just. Julia has captured, Julia's the voice of our generation. I really, I try to keep in mind that not everyone in the healthiest headspace when they leave bad comments. Mm -hmm. Not that it happens very often with Drawfee comments. No, we're very lucky. We're very that. lucky. We're very lucky and appreciative But all of you. you know, the, the rare ones, mm. Mm. Mm, they they'll stick with me. Mm. They stick with me. They'll hit you and they'll get mm. you. And this guy got got by one. Yeah, you and know so what? he's gonna go home later, and like he's gonna forget all the people in the crowd that were like, "Wow, you did some good fighting!" Yeah, murder that man! Murder I was, that man. man! I was in a I was in a bad mood before, and then I saw you do that fighting. It really turned my day around. Thank you. Yeah, he's yeah. not. He's, he's not, not gonna. About that. He's not thinking about that, even though that's a very nice thing to share, and he he, yeah. he appreciates it. Yeah, but he's he, it's but just because, running through his head. Do my moves suck? Because our stupid brains developed to like focus on danger. <laughs> And danger now is D the thing that triggers that <laughs> chemical reaction in our brain is just assholes. Yeah, it's just uh, it's text, screen it's that, text. That freaking that surge of adrenaline that you get when you feel attacked because there's no physical danger. I feel attacked right now. <laughs> oh look at this! Oh look at this, Dweebus. Your moves suck. Do they? Oh my god! I worked oh really god. hard on I those thought, moves. I thought my oh no, he's right. I trained up on a mountain for these moves. It's because you I, know uh, this guy like too in his head is like secretly do, been. Do worried. my moves suck? Yeah, he's been worried about this already. Yeah, yeah. obviously. And he's but he's like starting to get over. All it. he thinks about are his moves. Of yeah. course, <laughs> that's his life. Of course, he he's constantly questioning whether or not they suck. Wow! But just to hear it put out in the world yeah. is a real blow. Yeah, that's. My fears made real. Yeah. Yeah. My insecurities manifest. <laughs> my moves suck. Feet. My moves suck. Sorry, I was just looking at the dainty feet of my left good feet. Yeah, those tiny little, feet. <laughs> cute little feet. Wow. Well. Well. I feel I, like we've I, been fatality. I think <laughs> we fatalityed ourselves. I think your guys' moves are good. Oh, thank you, I Nathan. I like your moves you too, Nathan. Moves. Friendship. Friendship. <laughs> 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 um, this has been Drawfee. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Test your might. And if you have any suggestions you'd like to see us do, put them in the comments. Yeah. And let us know if our moves are good. Yeah. Pl just Please tell us just our, tell our moves are Just tell are us good. our moves are good. Even if they're not, just tell us. Just tell us our moves. There, it doesn't cost you anything to tell us our moves <laughs> are good, and that it will make <laughs> us feel good. And in return, <laughs> I'll tell all of you that you guys got good moves. Ooh. All you out there got good moves. I gotta say, you're both valid. Pretty valid. Thank you. Validity. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. I gotta say, you're both valid. Trophy. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed that episode of Drawfee, you should know that the best way to support us is to sign up for Dropout. For less than the cost of a very mediocre sandwich per month, you will get access to Drawfee videos a week early. You can talk to us on the Discord, and also there's exclusive series you can watch like Nathan's very own Cartoon Hell and Dimension 20. Uh, if you're interested, sign up at dropout.tv for a free trial, and I will put you on my list of very good boys, which I read every night before bed, and I give individual kisses to each name on the list. <laughs>